Nikola Tesla vs Kin Shi Huang, two of the strongest humans so far in Record of Ragnar. Having some of the most wild and unique abilities we've ever seen, the Chinese Emperor was able to slay the greatly respected and powerful Hades, while Tesla faced defeat by the hands of Belzebub, a top 3 strongest contender in the entire series, who respected the might of this genius. The result of this matchup is probably not what many of you expect, with a lot to break down throughout today's video. First, let's go over their main abilities. Huang's Valkyrie transformed into this armor, which specializes in defense and maximizes the potential of his martial art. Additionally, she can recast into this sword, dedicating her power into offense rather than defense. Therefore, his martial art goes by the name Qi Yu and involves various forms, those being armor, spear, crossbow, halberd and sword, having unique techniques with each and the ability to combine them if needed, or at least two from what we've seen. The armor form is known as Heavenly Hand of Defense and allows him to block attacks by absorbing the energy of his opponent and he can even redirect this back. Spear form is pretty much a powerful stab capable of harming Hades. Likewise for the Hellbird form, which I guess does even more damage, but the crossbow path is far more interesting. When his blindfold is removed, Huang has the ability to see the flow of key of people, illustrated with these various points called stars. And when these points are hit, it weakens his opponent greatly. The crossbow form involves Huang using his breath to hit these points. Just take the outline from Sasaki in the series. The crucial point here being, that even techniques with the potential to kill can have their power weakened just by breathing on them. These are invisible attacks claimed as unavoidable and one does not know when they have been hit. Pretty wild stuff. Then his sword form, which is most likely his strongest AP wise, which can also be used to perform Heavenly Hand of Defense as its base, a deadly combo that allowed Huang to defeat a amped up Hades. Nikola Tesla in a similar way also has armor as his divine weapon, known as Super Automation, something that he imagined himself and brought into reality with the power of his Valkyrie. This allows him to convert energy into high amounts of pressure to throw insanely fast punches, known as the Plasma Pulse Punch, with various more powerful alternatives and advancements when it comes to movement, power and more, to a point where we get to see the Morbius variation here. Additionally, after he uses some of his previously mentioned abilities, he can release the Gematra Zone, a cage for his opponent that gives Tesla additional benefits, such as being able to float as it's an anti-gravity system, which allows him to reach his top speed after a single kick and also perform his Tesla steps that are regarded as unpredictable. Very powerful stuff, but there is more. He can also perform teleportation around three times, including using it on something like his fist alone. Apart from that, we have some statements and additional showings from both fighters. Huang somehow, without a volume, was able to fight the demon known as Chi Yu for six days and defeat him, also taking his martial art after that. He was a potential Poseidon opponent who was of course very strong himself. And while outclassed by Hades when it comes to stats in their fight, he was pretty much able to dominate through his abilities alone. When it comes to Tesla, it's claimed by the commentator that he has one hit kills. This is early in the fight. When his zone is activated, most of his attacks are almost instant. His Morbius punches also may be infinite in nature and had fighters like Sasaki and Okita stunned with the speed, not seeing where the punch begins or ends and his final attack being regarded as inescapable. Well, to be fair, Belzebub did escape it, but this is because of more broken abilities. So who would actually win this fight? First, I need to pretty much dismiss a silly argument some may leave in the comments. That being how Hades defeated Belzebub in his flashback, and Belzebub defeated Tesla, while Kin defeated Hades, meaning the Emperor should be stronger, this argument isn't really fair for many reasons. First, look at the context of their fight in the flashback. 
Beelzebub just spent an unknown amount of time defeating various other monsters just to get to Hades. Being very clearly injured, or at least drained to a degree at this point, he also does not have his divine weapon, something that literally makes him OP alone and is one of the best divine weapons in the entire series when given to Beelzebub later on by Hades himself after this fight. He was also here for the simple reason of wanting to be killed. Yes, it's also fair to say Hades wasn't going all out in this fight as well, but it wasn't an all out fight between the two. Beelzebub didn't have all his abilities, didn't really show any of the abilities for what we've seen, and didn't have his divine weapon of course. If you want a more in-depth breakdown about all of this, consider checking out my Hades vs Poseidon video, but let's go over the matchup. So when it comes to power, Kin most likely has the advantage. This is due to the various times he was able to harm Hades with his attacks. However, if we're being fair, Tesla faced a bigger problem in really showcasing his power. This is due to Beelzebub pretty much having the best defense in the entire series, and was still able to force Beelzebub to make comparisons to Hades, which as we know, Hades stat-wise is above Huang, so something interesting to consider. Without a doubt, it's very clear that they can damage one another. I don't think many people are going to have a problem with this. They both have amped durability with their armor, which is more so going to prolong the exchanges in the fight. When it comes to speed, Tesla has it without a doubt, especially in his zone. Outside of it, it's a little bit more debatable, but I'd honestly still give it to him. So let's go over how each of them could really win this fight. Huang's main chance only really occurs in the early stages of the fight by using his heavenly hand of defense to redirect attacks and his air bubbles to nerf Tesla's speed. This I guess would allow him to land one of his other forms, the more powerful attacks that should do significant damage to Tesla, or even the sword form which may be able to one shot him considering what it did to Hades. Well that's really it. He needs to win this fight early, with that being his best opportunity. While Tesla just needs to use a few of his moves and survive long enough for his Gemitra zone to come out, then it's pretty much pure domination. Unpredictable movement, amped up speed even more, and actual teleportation with an attack that can do this. You could say Huang's breath attack may be able to land and stop the insanity, but that's only for some time, and it is questionable considering Hades was able to counter it at a point by swinging his weapon to blow pretty much the air away. Tesla's wild movements in his zone would probably be enough, but still, it's pretty much unpredictable movement versus an unavoidable attack, so let me know what you think down below. Also, when it comes to his teleportation being used, it does require a lot of setup but if it is used, it's most likely going to land on Huang without a doubt. Overall, I would say this matchup has key differences. Tesla can win via overwhelming Huang with his abilities, and the Emperor can win if a full combo lands directly. Additionally, I have some people from the Discord here to break down their side of the argument. Alright guys, so I have Lil Gus from the Discord here to go over why Tesla is pretty much the victor. So... My argument mainly is that, like, Quinn doesn't really have anything, like, he can really do to reflect Tesla's attacks. Like, for example, the TP punch or whatever has, like, a giant, um, like, radius of, like, an explosion. I don't think he's reflecting a giant explosion. And on top of that, his bubble would be completely useless due to the armor. Unless you can make the excuse that the Valkyrie has its own stars. On top of that, I feel like that, um, when it comes down to, like, just straight up, like, raw power uh tesla just kind of dominates in that regard and then for like just like uh quinn's like just main abilities i feel like already two two of his main ones are kind of just like just taken out by that right there i also feel that um tesla in the middle of the fight would be able to learn how quinn fights more than like what quinn would be able to learn because like at the end of the fight tesla is already like starting to like learn new stuff adapt he was willing to take his whole arm out just to try and take out Bezalo. Something that I'm fairly certain the people in the crowd were like, yeah, he came up with that on the spot. Versus Quinn, he mainly came up with his stuff at the end with against Hades, like the situation of Daimos becoming part of uh, Hades' body. 
that's the only reason he's able to see the star. So unless I feel like Tesla's armor would have like the bubble thing to be able to negate like all of Quinn's like just fighting ability, I don't see any real way of uh, Quinn be able to win in that regard. And on top of it, Quinn is uh, from what it seems to be a lot slower than Tesla, especially with Tesla stuff. He can move at max speed all the time, which um. Let's just say their relative speed and just at max speed. Tesla can do that all the time, whilst Quinn can only do it, like, you know, well, not all the time. Thanks for watching the video. Shout out to these mad lads. Become a mad lad yourself. That's it, guys. Peace.